Dead Spin needs to get off my lawn. Dead Spin in my lawn. This week, Karen Phillips wrote an article for Dead Spin titled, The NFL Needs to Speak Out Against the Kansas City Chiefs Fan in Blackface and Native Headdress. Despite this headline being accompanied by a photograph of the fan from a profile angle showing only half his face, the truth was easily revealed that this is just a kid supporting his favorite team with red and black face paint. Once again, the demand for discrimination in modern America has outpaced the supply, and it's being taken advantage of by grifters like Phillips, who won't even defend his position in the public square, choosing instead to disable comments on his post. Nothing says propagandist like a journalist dodging dissent on an opinion piece. Phillips went on to write, this is what happens when you ban books and erase centuries of hate. You give future generations ammunition to recreate racism. It's cruel to expect the oppressed to assist their oppressors in the termination of their own oppression. That's a kid in a costume. Do y'all see how Deadspin describes your sons when they dress up to cheer on a football team? Let this same boy dress up like a girl, though. Let him dress up as Taylor Swift rather than Travis Kelsey, and he'd likely get a locker room tour and a replica Lombardi trophy. These are the signs of a sick society where too many live only in an echo chamber, free from the mockery that is necessary to see how ridiculous they've become. And if you're one of those individuals listening now, offended by this kid supporting the Chiefs, then under no circumstances whatsoever should you tune in for the world premiere of Lady Ballers this Friday night? Which brings me to the main point for you other 99%. You must tune in for the world premiere of Lady Ballers this Friday night, 8 p.m. Central, only on dailywireplus.com. If you're one who sees through pathetic faux virtue signaling like this, if you miss old school comedies that are genuinely funny, then you cannot miss this laugh out loud film. The three of us are honored to be a part of it, and I can assure everyone the headdress is seen here are the least offensive thing in the entire film. Very well done. Yes, Kenny. Very yes, well done. Yes, Kenny. He, like, this is, again, uh, it makes me worried about, like, driving on the street. <laughs> like, that, that some of these people have driver's licenses that, that write stuff like that. <gasps> if you think that, wait till you see Halloween. You're going to hate that. Dude, first Can, of all, that kid's headdress was legit. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. But it was dope. It, it's, back up. It, it and, and the funniest part is that he's not the only one. Dan Levitard, who to, used to have a great show. A great show. A great show with, with Stu Godson. He talked about how wearing red and black face paint is so awful. And the year before on Halloween, he dressed up more red and black face paint on the show. Checkmate. These people, they're Checkmate. so, they, look, they're so virtue signaling. They're so making moves in their ivory tower. You can't dress up. As a Chiefs fan, as a kid. Rules for thee, not for me. Yeah, Jay. as a okay. kid and go to the game. It's, we are so lost. We are so the, lost. It goes back to the Gucci man saying for me. What? You can get lost without the sauce. sauce. Yes. But you can also get lost in the sauce. Yes. Oh, boy. These lost people are all lost wow. in their own sauce. In their See, own like, here's sauce. the question, though. Yeah. Like, like at what up. point do you just, like, cut the oxygen off to it? Like, is there any point where... Because we have to address it. But is this what he really wanted? Well, Because now what? I know who this this clown is. Well, I do think, just like we talked about with the movie this coming, that's why I wanted to, I mean, it was sort of a, sh a shameless plug because, yeah, we do have to mock this sort of stuff, but we can only do so much. Like, the NFL, I mean, his, he was addressing the NFL. The NFL needs to come out and, and, and like, oh, they won't, how silly David? this is. Or, at the very least, the Kansas City Chiefs. Invite that kid to the game in his headdress with his face paint on, bring him into the locker room, give him a free pair of gloves and a football or something, show him that you support him supporting you so uh, well again i mean what if he identifies though as as a native american child it's funny you say that because i pulled up well first of all his mom came out and said that he is part native american that's what the mom See, said i would yesterday. sue i would sue. I, I don't you think I sandman won a lot of money you went after a child you go after my child i i will be swimming it'll be like wolf of wall street mm -hmm. i'll be leo dicaprio on a yacht 
with just just people bringing me lobster and stuff at the end of this. It's funny you say that though, because I pulled up a Deadspin article from earlier in the year. This was like February of this year, where they ran a piece on uh, men competing in women's sports and saying you never know fully how someone identifies, and you and you and that's not up for you to decide. That's up for th- for them to decide. Yeah, not so this guy. Deadspin though. is fine with people identifying however they want, unless you want to cheer on your favorite team. God, we would. What, what did Mr. Big say to cut another rapper? Take that to trial. We'll take it to trial. Now I've got to quote a rapper today. I know, you do. Everybody on YouTube, if you haven't heard, we just released a movie. It is dropping this Friday, December 1st at 8 p.m. Eastern. That's 7 p.m. Central on Daily Wire Plus. Check it out. It's the comedy that Hollywood's too afraid to make. You're going to love it because your brain works.